Foam use in roofing is not like what people would normally imagine when thinking of foam. It's a chemically engineered product that is designed to molecularly bond with other specific products to create a completely sealed and seamless roofing system. This can remedy many problems easily that would otherwise be hard to solve, not the least of which is energy efficiency. Polyurethane foam is applied in a three-step system. This starts with the foam itself, then a base coat is put down over that, and it all gets finished off with a top coat. While the steps taken in installing foam are fewer than other roofing systems, even more care and precision needs to take place to install the system properly. The applicator himself is the most important aspect of the foam roof. It takes years of training and experience to learn how to install an entire polyurethane foam system properly. An advantage of foam is that it is very versatile, making it possible to apply straight to the deck, or in many cases, overlaid onto existing roofing systems. These systems can include built-up roofing, modified or rolled roofing, concrete roofs, metal roofs, and even other types of roofing materials. Once there is a solid deck to foam to, the first pass of foam is sprayed out. This is usually about a half an inch and is done in two passes to achieve a one inch minimum. At this point, the roof is completely waterproof. The next step is to coat the foam in order to protect it from the sun. Coating provides a barrier for the foam against UV rays. Coating in no way is a waterproofing barrier. It just protects that barrier from being burned by the sun. Coating is applied to a desired thickness of about three gallons per 100 square feet, which should achieve about a 27 to 30 dry mill thickness. And with the recoat every eight to 10 years, a foam roof and its warranty can last a lifetime. The beauty of foam is that it is seamless and completely watertight. Flashings are made easy by foam because they are typically left in place and just foamed around. This reduces costs on labor and that transfers over to the consumer. Sometimes, foam can even be used to solve problems that were originally a structural deficiency. Crickets and water channels can be designed out of foam to provide positive drainage or enhance existing drainage. Polyurethane foam has an insulation or R value of 6.5 for the first inch of foam sprayed down. This means not only is your foam roof keeping water out, it is also keeping the heat out. This added insulation can greatly reduce energy costs of cooling your home improve internal comfort, help to reduce the heat island effect, and even extend the useful life of your air conditioner. Not only is the finished product more environmentally friendly than other roofs, but so is the raw material itself. This makes foam not just the most economical way to roof, but also the most responsible. Foam is the most versatile roofing product that there is today. Not only does it create a seamless barrier against water that offers added insulation, but with proper coatings and maintenance, a foam roof can last a lifetime.